Hi everyone, this is Monique over at Butterbee Scraps. I have to apologize, I haven't done a video in a very long time. However, I've been working on a very special project. Um, this was probably back in April or May. Um, I did a giveaway and I asked for feedback as to what you guys want me to work on. And one person in particular, Michelle, thank you so much for the suggestion. She wanted to see a vintage western themed mini album. So I scratched my head for a bit and came up with something that I think turned out super cute. I'm not sure how well the camera angle is going to work on this, but I will post pictures um, after. So uh, look at this you guys. I created a little miniature chuck wagon and I'll kind of tilt it on, on edge. Hopefully you can see that. I am so excited about this. I've got horse harnesses here, a little bench in the back. There's a little cargo box that actually opens up. And you're probably wondering, well, where's the album? You just lift the canopy right off and there's your album. I haven't decorated the cover or anything. I haven't completed the tags. I was just so excited to show this um, that I didn't take the time to do that yet. But I do have some special features inside I want to show you. Like for example, um, on the first page here I created this little cowboy boot and it's made primarily using grunge board and grunge paper. And in behind you can see I've got a couple of library pockets stacked up. And if you pull on the top of the boot, you end up getting a little tag. There's actually a second tag in there as well. And then there's a flap with a picture mat. And all these pages have two spots for tags up at the top. There's, um, sorry guys, I haven't put the tag pulls on so it's really hard to get at them. There's two in the top, there's one here and one on the back side, and then there's also um, pocket in the side as well. And like I said, I haven't decorated all the tags, so I'm not going to show you that. I'll just quickly flip through the pages and, and show you what I've done there. These are a couple of my handmade paper bags, and I just threw a couple blank tags in there. This is a sisal rope frame. You can put a picture back there. And of course the corset. Um, I know this, a lot of people have done the corset, and I just love it. I think it's beautiful. I've created this horseshoe frame so you can actually slide, it, slide a picture back there as well and to get this modeled effect on the horseshoe um, I just did one coat of beauty so it kinda looks um, modeled and uneven. I think it's a really cool effect. Um, I think this is really cute. This little gold pan I created using a bottle cap. Actually my neighbors probably thought I was crazy. I was out in the front yard picking fine dirt and little rocks <laughs> off the driveway and I actually painted all the little rocks in there with um, the gold mixative for the alcohol inks put out by um, Tim Holtz. And this is probably one of my favorite pages here, the uh, bull skull. And you can pull the horns up and that reveals a tag underneath. And this again is a flap. You can stick a tag underneath the, the twine there. Gotta have the reward poster. Another flap. There's a pocket here as well. Um, here I just created a bit of a little wallet. And this is, I really like this one too, the lantern. And you can actually pull on the handle of the lantern to reveal another tag. And with this one, I actually painted the chipboard and then I, I UD'd it so it looked like glass and wrapped some twine around it. And this last one is some guns. Sorry guys, I don't have very good light there. So in, you can just uh, put a photo or a tag or whatever you want behind the guns. So 
I put a lot of effort into um, layering the pieces just to give them three dimensions. Like there's actually three different layers on these guns. There's the base and then there's a light chipboard layer on, so that the uh, trigger looks recessed and then the handle is a separate layer. And Anyway, I, I'm really happy with how this turned out and you know what? My camera album was quite popular. I anticipate that this one will be popular as well. So you guys will be really happy to know. And this is partially why it's taken me so long. I have a pattern available immediately. It's already posted on my website. Um, it's a little bit more money than the last one, but it is 96 pages long. It, it goes through, it gives you instructions on how to build the base. This part here gives you instructions how to build the wheels, everything. Um, how to build the album, the canvas album covers, how to build the pages. It also includes templates for all the tags, the bull skull, the horns, the, the um, horseshoe, the fabric pieces for the corseting, everything. Um, so it's it's a jam-packed um, pattern. It's also written in such a way, I'll just quickly show you some stuff in here, but it's got tons and tons of photos and diagrams telling you exactly dimensions of paper to cut, um, you know, uh, lots of pictures so that you can actually see, see um, how to build it without the use of a, a video tutorial. You shouldn't need a video tutorial to build this. I show you exactly how to tie these knots, all sorts of stuff. Um, I also give you good little tidbits like what products you should be using for different steps. Um, I try to recommend what I feel are the best products to use to get the best adhesion and stuff. So anyway, I hope you guys are excited as me because I'm really thrilled with how this turned out. Um, yeah, leave me a comment. Let me know what you think. And uh, stay tuned. I do have some more videos I'm going to be coming out with uh, pretty quickly, including, I think, a 750 subby giveaway. I know I'm, I'm almost at 760, so I kind of missed the mark on that one, but I will open it for um, probably three, four days or something. So keep an eye out for that one. And um, have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye-bye.